Good morning, gorgeous ones. How are you this morning? I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late for the eight o'clock live, which is apparently today at 8.30. Look, more glittery fun earrings on my way to work this morning. Um, I have, today I'm going to reflect on an experience I had last week, which I'm sure many of you will relate to. And what it was, was I went to the dentist um, for my checkup, which had been, I'd been late. Like I hadn't actually been for a little while, like a long while. And part of that was pandemic. My appointment got canceled because of, you know, we're in lockdown. They rebooked it to a day I couldn't go. There was another date. So it was actually maybe two years from the dentist. I had been to the hygienist and had my teeth cleaned, but I hadn't actually been to the dentist. Now, here's the thing. He was asking me questions, which are perfectly reasonable questions, but for which I felt like I had to give the right answer. So he said, how many times do you brush your teeth? And I'm going, twice a day. And do you floss? And, in, and I, I don't actually floss very regularly. Good morning, Barry. So I kind of made up an answer. I go, yeah, 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 a couple of times a week. And then he goes, do you floss before or after you brush your teeth? And I'm thinking in my head, what's the right answer? Um, so I go, after? He goes, oh, good, good, good. And I'm going, oh, phew, in my head I'm getting. So I felt like it was a, a test and I had to get the right answer. Have you ever felt like this when you go somewhere and they ask you a question and you just suddenly think, what do they want to hear? And it really struck me that this happens a lot, I suspect, in medical land when doctors ask patients a question and you kind of don't want to, you don't want to be wrong. And I was reflecting on this because what it was, was I needed some, you know, I wanted to get the right answer. I wanted to be a good girl. I wanted to be praised for being getting the right answer, which is what my modus operandus was as a kid. I was always trying to do the right thing, get, you know, be a good girl, get the right answer, you know, win the times table competition at school, whatever it was. Whereas my husband goes, why don't you just tell him what the answer was? And I go, oh, because I didn't want him to think, he's not going to think that, he's a dentist. He's just trying to ascertain information, which is absolutely correct. That is exactly all he's trying to do so that he could then tailor his response to whatever my answer was. So if I say oh, I floss every day, then he probably wasn't going to talk about flossing. If I say I, I floss before I brush, he was going to tell me, oh, you know, new research shows that you should floss after, whatever the answer was. Um, and he also said, and here's a little tip, do you rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth? And I'm thinking, is this a trick question? I go, yeah. And he goes, no, no, we don't do that anymore. And I go, oh. So two things, I think. One was probably his tone in the way he was answering, asking the questions made me feel like I had to get the right answer or I might get in trouble. But the second thing is also for me to recognize that this is actually just my issue. It's nothing to do with him. He's trying to um, just, you know, look after my oral health in the best way that he can and he needs the correct information to do so. So I guess the two lessons I've learned from that is one, just take the emotion out of the answers. It's, it's not a test. There's no prize for getting the right answer. There's no, you know, I'm not going to get in trouble for getting the wrong answer. The dentist just needed information to give me the correct then response. And then I guess the reflection on me is like, hmm, isn't that interesting? You know, that's one of my favorite things to notice my thoughts and go, isn't that interesting? Yes, Michelle, no rinsing. So you brush, you spit, and perhaps that's it. You just go, and the idea being that the, you know, the toothpaste does its magic. Um, and you floss, up, so you brush, then you floss. And the idea is that you will get whatever toothpaste is around in between your gappy things. I think if you had a lot of maybe goop in your in your mouth after flossing, like maybe if you had, you know, chip, steak or chicken or something or other in there, you might, you know, you don't want all that sort of sitting on your tongue, so you might wanna brush again. Or, you know, rinse all that out then, just brush again to put the fluoride in. Um, yes, tooth, you can, certainly people can do tooth mousse. Well, there you go, I'm now giving dental advice as well at it. Um, interestingly, Barry mentioned no sugar, teeth are better. Absolutely, I, I don't have cavities anymore. I used to, I've got a lot of fillings, uh, you know. I think sugar addiction may gave, you know, every time I'd go to the dentist, I would have a filling, no doubt about it. I don't get fillings anymore, 
but for whatever reason I do get quite a buildup of tartar on the back so I really need to go and get that cleaned from the hygienist. Um, but anyway, I guess what I wanted to do was reflect and just say to you all that it's always good, you know, the whole point of this, you know, real low, uh, you know, real health journey is to learn to know yourself and learn to know your responses and learn to think what is it that I, you know, what what did that dentist trigger in me? Now again, it was a it was a, you know, harmless interaction, but it was just interesting for me to note that I like to get the right answer. I, I do, I like, to, I like to be right. And it's because I was praised for, for being, you know, getting the right answer as a kid, as we all are. And so my disease, you know, the disease to please, the disease to get the right answer or the need to be right, or the need to, you know, win the competition. Really, really interesting. Not judgy, nothing to berate myself about, just interesting. Isn't that interesting? All right, lovelies, I'm off to work today for some more interesting day uh, with my very fun earrings, which will then be covered up by my giant mask and goggles, but uh, just interesting. Have a wonderful day. Reflect kindly on yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at some time between 8 and 8.30, <laughs> Melbourne time. Bye, darlings.